Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at Quoteworks. Today we're going to be demonstrating the integration between Quoteworks and Autotask. This will include the integration points such as searching and pulling in Autotask contacts, creating and updating Autotask sales opportunities, creating and updating Autotask quotes, attaching additional documentation to the opportunity in Autotask, creating purchase orders in Autotask, interacting with the Autotask products, services, and labor databases inside of Quoteworks. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off by pulling a contact into our document. So I'm going to click on the Sold to Ship to tab, and then under the Sold to Contact information, click on the magnifying glass. This will bring up the Lookup Autotask contact window. From here, I can search by account name, first name, last name, phone, account ID, or account number. In this example, I'm just gonna search for Aspire Technologies. I'll type in Aspire, click enter on my keyboard or the magnifying glass, and this will return the results that match. To select a contact to pull into Quoteworks, simply highlight the contact and click on the Sold To button to pull them into the Sold To, Ship To to pull them into Ship To, Bill To to pull them into Bill To, or if you wanna pull the same contact into all three fields at once, click the All button, and that contact information will be populated in all three fields at one time. If your contact does not currently exist in Autotask, you can create it directly from Quoteworks. Simply enter in the company name, contact name, address, city, state, phone, and email address, and this gold button will become available and will allow you to create the new record in Autotask. If the record already does exist in Autotask, then you simply need to go to Autotask and create the new contact inside of Autotask. Now that we have our contact in our document, let's go ahead and start adding items to build our document in Quoteworks. We're gonna click on our Document Items tab, and we'll have a couple section headers already set for us. And we'll now click on the Products icon to bring up the Product Lookup window. If you are utilizing Autotask for your items, so you have them stored in your labor, products, or services database, we can link directly to those to search and pull items from those databases. For example, if I select Autotask and in my description I type in Sonic Wall and click Find, that'll show me a list of any items that contain the word Sonic Wall in the description of the item. Additionally, you could hit show all and that will display all the items that are available in this Autotask product list. For this example, we'll just go ahead and select a couple items to add to our document and we'll right click and add those to our document. Services, same thing. We can search for anything we'd like and hit enter and this will bring up the search window where we can search for alert monitoring and we'll say platinum monitoring and we'll add these two services to our document. So I'm gonna go into my demo items database here and just add a couple other items to use for later. Once you've selected the items from your Autotask product list or any other list that you've set up in Quoteworks, you can go back into Quoteworks and start moving these around the document. So for instance, if I wanted to move my product items under my product section, I can do that. And let's go ahead and just get these under my product section and then my services under my services section and we'll leave our labor and trip light options here under our optional items. Now that we've created our document in Quoteworks, we can transfer the important sales data over to Autotask. To send this information to Autotask, simply click on the save icon and this will bring up the save quote as window. This will allow you to change the document name such as here we have the company that we're selling to in today's date, assign a document number which will be done automatically for you, assign the status of this quote, and also assign a project number if needed. Below that you'll have the options to integrate with Autotask. So we want to create or update the sales opportunity. We want to create and update the link document which will be a copy of the quote and included in the opportunity. We want to create and update an Autotask quote, that way our line item information feeds into Autotask, and we can also create and update account to-dos or account notes if needed. Once you've made your selections, simply click OK. This will open up the Create New Autotask Opportunity window, and from here you'll have a couple options. The first being if you want to create a brand new Autotask opportunity, 
or if an existing opportunity for this contact already exists, you can click on the drop down and actually select that existing opportunity. Just note that if you do select this option, QuoteWorks will take ownership of that opportunity and will rewrite it with the information in this current document. For our example, we're going to go ahead and select create new opportunity. The default opportunity name is going to be our document name. So the company that we're selling to and today's date, as well as the QuoteWorks quote number. If you'd like to customize or change any, any of this, you absolutely can. We'll also set the owner of the opportunity, the stage of the opportunity. So in this case, we'll say qualification, status of the opportunity, projected close date, say next week, probability, rating, and promotion name, if any. You'll also have the option to include other attachments with the opportunity. If there's any additional documentation that you'd like to attach to the opportunity in Autotask, you can add the files here just by clicking on Add Files or dragging and dropping the documents here in this list. Once you've added the files to the opportunity, simply click on the General tab to go back to, to the main opportunity window and click OK to save your settings and create this new opportunity in Autotask. After the opportunity has been created in Autotask, the Create New Autotask Quote window will appear. This will let you name the quote in Autotask. It'll use the same naming convention as your QuoteWorks quote, so the company name and today's date. However, if you'd like to change it, you can. If you'd like to add a description, an effective date, an expiration date, you can set those as well. And any comments you'd like to make on this document or on this quote in Autotask before you save it, you can. And then simply click Save to start the process of sending the line item information into Autotask. After the Autotask quote has been created, Quarks will then prompt you to create the Autotask account to do. This will let you choose your action type, whether it's an opportunity update, call you need to schedule, note, email, really anything that you've set up in Autotask, you can set that action type here. The start time, date, if it's gonna be linked to the opportunity and the contact, and who it's going to be assigned to, simply click Save to update it in the Autotask Opportunity. Now that our opportunity has been created in Autotask, Quarks has a really nice shortcut for getting directly to that opportunity. If you click on the Links tab in QuoteWorks, you'll see you have these auto links available, which will bring you directly to either the sold to, shipped to, or built to contact information in Autotask, the opportunity in Autotask, or the to do in Autotask. So if I click on View Opportunity in Autotask, from here, I can review my opportunity, add any notes if needed. I can also review the quote that QuoteWorks created inside of Autotask by clicking on the Autotask quote, and it will load the items that I sent over. So everything looks good. So let's go ahead and go back into QuoteWorks, and let's go back to our Document Items tab. Now, if anything on the document changes and we need to update the opportunity in Autotask, we can easily do this. For instance, if our customer decides they need two of these items instead of just one, and then resave the opportunity. This will prompt us to update the existing opportunity that QuoteWorks is already attached to. We can make any adjustments, maybe if they're moving into stage four at this point, we can click OK, and we'll update the opportunity in Autotask. Additionally, you'll be prompted to update the existing Autotask quote. So if we wanted to make any adjustments, we could, and then hit save. If you need to update an Autotask account to do, we can do that as well, and hit save. And now our opportunity is in sync and will remain in sync with our quote in QuoteWorks. So anytime you make changes to the document in QuoteWorks, all you have to do is hit save, and it will automatically update that opportunity in Autotask as well. So now that our document has been updated, we want to go ahead and send this to the customer so they can sign off on it. So we're going to click on our Deliver icon, select our layout or our output of our document, and upload this to Quote Valet so the customer can sign off on it. And we'll choose our Quote Valet layout, so it's my, our customer facing layout, and click Upload. And then we can email it out to the customer. And then if we scroll down, customer can accept their document, they can sign off on it, and click to accept. 
And now that the quote has been accepted by the customer, Quoteworks will want to convert this quote to an order. So right now it's a quote document. When we convert the quote to an order, this will prompt us to update the opportunity as one in Autotask. If we click on our quote valet tab, this will prompt us to convert this quote to an order. And converting the quote to an order will give us the opportunity to update our Autotask opportunity as close. So we'll click OK. And if any changes had been made to the document, we'll now update the opportunity with the most up-to-date information from the QuoteWorks document. On the opportunity window, you'll see our status is set to closed. We can adjust our stage. Maybe we want to say we're waiting on the contract. Probability has been updated to 100%. Projected close date has been updated to the day that the document is converted to closed. And then we can hit OK to update it in Autotask. If any of the information or the line items have changed in the QuoteWorks document, we will also update the Autotask quote as one. That's a typical example for creating a new document in QuoteWorks, creating an opportunity, and then having the customer sign off on it and updating the opportunity as closed. We do support another way of linking to opportunities in Autotask. So if we start with a new blank document, You'll see in QuoteWorks you have access to a dashboard. When you click on this, this will show you a list of opportunities in Autotask that exist already that are waiting for a quote. On the right hand side, you'll see a list of opportunities that have been created in Autotask but need a quote for that opportunity. So for instance, if I click on Create Quote for Autotask Opportunity, my contact information will already exist and I can begin adding my items to this opportunity. So if we go to our products and we go back into our auto task products database and we search for a couple of items and we'll just select these two here. When we click save, we'll have our normal options available and we can choose the owner, the stage, status but you also see it's already been linked to an existing opportunity in Autotask. So the Autotask opportunity already exists we can simply update the projected close date and then hit OK. And we'll just follow the same steps as before updating this existing quote. In addition to searching for contacts, pulling the contact information into the document, creating and updating Autotask opportunities and quotes, QuoteWorks also has the ability to send purchase orders to Autotask. You can do this by clicking on the purchasing icon. This will open up the purchasing window and you can sort by vendor. So for instance, if we sort by, we'll just say Autotask products, we can select our items that we want to create a PO for. Once you've selected your items, simply click Create PO and enter in a PO number. And then at the bottom, you'll see you have a checkbox to export to Autotask. And when we click OK, this will create the PO in QuoteWorks. It will also then export that PO to Autotask. You'll first be prompted to select the vendor, which who you want to create this PO for. So in this case, we'll say Autotask. Click OK. Select the inventory location. And you'll get a confirmation that the Autotask PO was created along with the PO number. So if we want to view this PO in Autotask, we simply go into Autotask and we'll go to our purchase orders. And we can see here's our PO that we created and the information that we sent. One of the really great features about this, as these items are received in QuoteWorks, so if we go to Purchase Orders, choose Today, select our Autotask Products Purchase Order, as we mark these items as received in QuoteWorks, we'll add our serial number here and click OK. This will additionally update the Autotask PO that these items were received. So if we go back into Autotask, open up 
the purchase order and we'll just refresh it we'll see that these items have been received and you can repeat that step as necessary and you can see if we go back into quote works receive our items when I click OK and enter in the serial number information you'll see it's receiving the items in Autotask again and it'll update in Autotask again you just have to refresh For more information on the Autotask integration, or if you have any further questions, please visit the QuoteWorks help file or contact our sales department with additional questions. Thanks for watching.